uh, that's whenever water I filter down. I would rather just break up than be bland. about to read you is called Fred the Accountant. I didn't really have any ideas when I started writing it. I just decided to write an absurd Christmas story and this is what I came up with. When I write one of these absurd stories it's because I need to clear the clutter out of my head or I write it because I'm writing a really brutal story and I need to get rid of the crap running around in my mind. I personally consider this kind of story to be nothing more than a throwaway story. Just a way to entertain myself and clear stuff from my mind. But my fans seem to love them. So with that being said, this is... Fred the Accountant by E.T. Brother The story I'm about to tell you happened three years ago. On Christmas Eve, Santa was on his famous ride to deliver presents. Everything started out well, but they soon went south in a hurry. In the blink of an eye, Santa was right on schedule until he stepped on some ice, slipped, and fell off the roof. He suffered a concussion and broke three bones. The elves tracking Santa's progress soon realized something was amiss, and they sent an elf to find out what was the matter. The elf soon reported back that Santa was out of commission, and he would not be able to complete the flight. The elves scrambled into action at the North Pole, but try as they might, they could not come up with a suitable replacement. The tooth fairy was down with a bad toothache. He had been eating too many sweets. 
Old Man Winter had the flu. The Easter Bunny had a broken ankle because shelves that had not been properly built collapsed. Easter eggs had landed on them, scrambled his brain, and broken his ankle. Father Time said he would help, but he was a very old man, and he was very tired. All he could do was slow time down. Humpty Dumpty was called, but it was discovered that he had had a great fall just that morning. He had been scrambled and fed to the needy. The woman who lived in the shoe was called, but it was discovered that all those children had driven her quite mad. She had had to be sedated and committed to the funny farm. Snow White was searched for. The elves searched high and low, but try as they might, they came up short. I have it on good authority that Snow White was on a holiday getaway in a remote location that can't be reached at this time of the year. The elves asked the dwarfs to do it, but that was also a bust. Doc, the leader of the seven dwarfs, was on a walk when the elves asked him to do it. He got all tongue-tied and flustered. He wasn't watching where he was walking. He fell down a hill and will be incapacitated for a few weeks. Grumpy gets even grumpier than normal at this time of the year. He told the elves in no uncertain terms that the answer was no. He then used foul words, which I can't mention here because they would make a sailor blush. Happy, of course, was very happy that the elves gave him the opportunity. But then he went into the back and took a hit of his happy juice. He passed out and was incapacitated for the rest of the night. Sleepy, of course, couldn't be asked in the first place because he was asleep. Bashful was embarrassed by all the attention he was getting. He ran off into the woods. He has not been seen or heard from since. Sneezy agreed at once and ran out to the sleigh to do it. He began to have extraordinarily powerful sneezes and ended up blowing the sleigh over. The presents went flying everywhere, and three reindeer were hurt in the rollover. Those three reindeer couldn't make the trip because of the injuries. Dopey was asked, but he refused to answer the elves. After a while, they moved on. Some of the elves grumbled. He is quite stuck up. He didn't speak a word. He could have at least said something, yay, nay, or take a hike. All would have been acceptable. The boogeyman came by while the elves were looking for a replacement and said he would be glad to assist. The elves feared that he would terrorize the children and traumatize them for life instead of delivering the presents. But the boogeyman swore he would behave for the rest of the night at least. So the elves decided to give him a chance. Of course, the boogeyman had no intention of keeping his promise. When he came out to get in the sleigh, he showed his true colors by scaring off half of the elves. Some of the elves were so traumatized that they had to be sedated and put in the hospital for a month. The boogeyman scared the reindeer so badly that their bowels let go and they dropped a load where they stood. The reindeer all ran off and were later found in a local bar drinking a good stiff one to calm the nerves. They all said they were trying to get lit up so they could be like Rudolph and guide Santa's sleigh. The elves informed them that even though they did all appear to glow and their noses were red, they had it wrong. Rudolph did not get lit up before the flight. His nose would light up and it glowed red. The boogeyman was told he was not needed and he went off to haunt someone's dreams. The